What do we got today? We got ourselves Zully hanging out on Team Blue. As a Shadow Priest, we got Limp and Liam back as a Destro Warlock. Illidanes is another Demon Hunter joining the fight. Hamburger as a Boomkin. And, oh wait, no, I think he won Feral. I think he's done. He put on his cat face. Dude, he's got his battle face. He's done being a punching bag as a Boomkin. He wants to play the game. And we got also the DV, DV, DVGE Diverge as a Demon Hunter with like very randomized Mog. We got us a Sari on the other side on Team uh, Red, actually with Fortin as a Windwalker. We got Just Vanish as an Assassination. Oh my gee, it's Comb with that Outlaw play style. And we got Mizik. M I Z Z I K. There's a lot of Russian letters for it. Is this man subtlety rogue? I would be so happy if it were subtlety. But we got Mizik. Mizik, Mizik, Mizik. Mizik, Mizik. Mmm. Mizzy, I almost call you want to call me music because the letter first second letter in your name almost looks like a U Then it's like it's like M U is 3 3 UK MP3 <laughs> It's gonna be cheap shot onto Limp and Liam. He's playing that subtlety actually wait He's got that shadowy duel in the opener. That's pet. I don't think can even see you No way he can in that shadowy duel. What an opener by Mizzy that's gonna be a try to get for himself a stun. Lipanim is gonna go for that lucid dream. Try to get himself more resources while that inferno is up and running. Mizzy can just continue to pound it full of damage. Is gonna get that interrupt on a chaos ball. Lipanim completely locked out. That's all you can really do for the moment. That lucid dream did not get the value it needed. That's gonna be Mizzy getting hit with a horror interfere. Does drop down a smoke bomb right before a chaos ball comes in. Does he have the damage to continue trucking here? It's gonna open up until Lipanim get another crucible flame rolling. Lipanim trying to get another chaos ball is gonna get interrupted if Mizzy just continue to pressure the guy get the shot on to limp and Liam does he go for that succubus CD uh, seduction he does not actually he does but that's gonna be a blind to limp and Liam he almost knew exactly what is gonna happen with a warlock vanish coming in so he doesn't get hit with a horror effect in the opener and Mizzy is just again just buying himself a little bit of time what an opener man shadowy duel in the opener he does get Shadowy Duel, he doesn't need to burn through his uh, dances. But I guess he does get to stay in Shadowy Duel for the longest time possible. And if you do get yourself a uh, Symbols of Death at the right time to gain that energy back, you could get quite value damage. Shadow Step and Interrupt Not Fear could go, so go for a Succubus CD Seduction. That's going to be Limpy Liam still taking a lot of damage by Mizzic. Finally going to be able to whop a Kesbolt right into his face. Needs to get himself a horror effect up and running. Shadow Fury is going to stun him in a second. Kesbolt going to try to go for that health equality here. Get a shot into Limpy Liam. Does he have anything left? Did Mizzic play the weirdest build and beat a Destro Warlock in the end? I believe he did get in that eviscerated at the end. Try to see if he can waddle way back. He's going to try to go for a bit of a reset. Who's next? Mizzic opening up with a weird playstyle. But making it work, Limp and Liam goes down, and next is going to be DVGE going up for the eyes. Spectral Vision is going to try to see if he can catch up to Mizzic. He's just stretching out of there, but he's just sprinting out of there. He's just bailing. He's going to get interrupted onto the eye beam. DVGE does still have himself that demonic form, so he's going to be able to get a lot of value out of that damage. Mizzic not even going to defense it with his Crucible, still using him offensively. Trying to see if he can get himself a bit of a Night Blade. Actually goes for a Kidder Shot instead, and it's going to go for a Dance. Could go for a Cheap Shot Wombo Combo. Not going for the Cheap Shot Wombo combo, combo, just trying to single some Viscerates into DVGE, actually. And DVGE trying to see if he can do something against this Cheap Shot Viscerate. That's going to be Mark for Maybe another Viscerate goes for another invulnerability with a Crucible Flame for a self heal. Maybe when a Warlock Hellstone there. Does let himself darkness with an eye beam. He looks like he's a, he's secure in the darkness. Mizzic hasn't taken even a drip of damage as DVGE goes for that. What is it? Fell barrage flying up in the air. Mizzic could maybe go for a reset. He's gonna go for a bit of a restyle here, but that's all he's got. Has advantage coming back very, very soon. DVGE not looking that healthy at all. Needs to deny the rogue opener. Actually, Shadow Steps right on top of DVGE instead with a Kinder Shot. Can he get that Night Blade in? It's gonna go for an Eviscerate. Mark for the Eviscerate with a Crucible. Jesus Christ. Mizzic is just taking these guys one by one. With a really weird sub rogue build, but it does work. Shadow St <laughs> Shadow Stun coming in by Zully. And that's gonna be a blind by Mizzic into a instant chicken by Zully. Does get a mind bender and a bit of a slow into Mizzic. 
He's actually slowed down. He's gonna go for a bit of a vantage, try to catch himself a reset. Does he have any dots? He does have dots in him. Zali making sure to reset that shot of word pain on the guy, and it's gonna burn his own greater fate just to catch up to the guy with a fear to follow, knowing that he will shot us up to him into a void eruption. Has all this instance cast available into a focus asteroid. Gonna be cheap shot by Mizzic as he does himself a secure, uh, what is it, safeguard trinket coming in with that nice shield. Does get dispelled though. Zali does take that shield off. Mizzic is left with very, very little to work with here is still staying super offensive with Zully does get himself a self heal but that's all he's really got just continue to get his backstabs in there as much as he can does go for a kidney shot onto Zully is going to be a short kidney into a stun onto Mizzic Zully going to be able to redot himself and redot Mizzic for a second if he can get himself a full void eruption he might have a chance here Mizzic is going to bail out of there for just a second still his dots rolling I think he just might go down regardless does he have a concoction does go down on Zully catch himself a couple heals here and there OMG it's a cone coming up now next as an outlaw rogue are they gonna have an easier time with Zully than Mizzic did? It is gonna be a shortest in the world, and Zully does go for greater fate. Make sure that he does get himself that opener with dots onto OMG. It's gonna set him out with a fear. It is gonna make sure to redot him. Cloak Shot is coming in very early for It's a Comb. Does have a mind bender kind of nipping at him with a kill and speed to follow onto Zully. Doesn't do the most amount of damage. Not a fan of kill and speed nearly as much anymore since it does so very little damage. I would have gone for a blade dance or blade rush. Drink it out of OMG. Does land a stun onto Zully to follow up. Zully needs to get those dots up and running. Maybe even a disperse might be necessary in this situation. Is gonna use a life swap that is allowed by Shadow Priest. I allow it. That is allowed. That is perfectly allowed by Shadow Priest in order to be more competitive in duels. I'm perfectly okay with it. Focus Azure Beam trying to come out for Zully and OMG Comb is going to go behind the pillar trying to get away from it. Shadow Mansa coming in for Zully. And Comb does get himself a bit of a reset for just a second, but the dots still are on him. Or you just start auto attacking after that sap. Get, that's going to be a full between the eyes onto Zully. Going to have him down for just a second. Zully is going to get those dots up and running with a bit of a slow onto OMG. And OMG not looking that good anymore. He doesn't get himself a double heal. It looks like you still can hit through the pillars in Arena. Blizzard has not fixed that at all. So OMG is technically getting a couple of free auto attacks in. He should continue getting those auto attacks in. That's quite free damage for him while behind the pillar. He should continue that, doing that as best as he can. Zelly does go for a greater fade, try to catch up to the rogue, doesn't get it. And OMG does catch a restyle, just get himself out of combat. Stop it to Zelly before they can catch a full reset with full heals. And OMG needs to roll himself a good buff, decent buff for damage actually. Should stick with that buff as long as he can. Kill and spray to follow with a fear to counter the kill and spray. Zully catch himself a full dots up and running onto OMG with a stun and a mind bender as well. Mind blast fall with a void eruption, blasting this rogue back to back. Does land himself a vanish for a second and goes offensive with a crucible. I don't know if that was a good move right there, but it's still staying super hyper offensive. Safe drink it coming in, does get dispelled immediately. Zully still has a chance to defeat this rogue blind coming out. He does drink it immediately. And hopefully Vampiric Touch and... Hopefully Vampiric Touch and everything else is still on OMG. He does land us up on Zully around the corner. Still can't quite get the Shadow Priest down though. And got himself quite a huge heal, probably with a double concoction. But we'll see how it works out for him. Zully getting hit with a cheap shot. OMG rolling and actually a really decent set of buffs for damage. And Zully looking to maybe get interrupted. No, not going to get interrupted on that. Oh, uh, does get interrupted on Shadow though. So OMG doesn't want to interrupt that. Uh, as right, he doesn't want to interrupt him on Shadow, so he tries to see if he can get it to, if he can get that, why, why am I really drawing a blank? Disperse, he's trying to get the Disperse out. Trying to see if he can deal with the Disperse for a second. How did I sit there and like couldn't remember the ability name? How did that happen? <laughs> I literally blanked out for a second, dude. Literally blanked out for a second. Holy shit, eight minutes in though, those duels have been going on for a real long while and only one one person on team red is down omg calm is still hanging in it's gonna be a sap onto zully omg calm getting hit with a fear vampiric touch getting it set up does he get the mind better he does that could be quite a lot of damage by zully even using a trinket from underrod for quite a bit of dot damage and omg calm is actually having to burn his crucible defensively this time He's trying to deal with the dot damage coming out. It's going to be Cloak of Shadows. Zully trying to see if he can blast him away with a meme beam. Killing Spree coming in. Actually cannot interrupt Zully while Killing Spree is going on. Looks like he might have missed that interrupt actually. He got juked out on the cast. So Zully's going to be, have the freedom to just cast at the guy as much as he can. Trick us out of that cheap shot. Silence onto OMG. No, it's not going to do that much. Shortest stun in the world onto Zully. OMG continuing to get hyper offensive as best he can. Blind onto Zully. 
Having that short blind does let him catch a reset. He's gonna use that Crucible defensively. This rogue is struggling to defeat his Shadow Priest, however. Having a very, very hard time with this. This is gonna get himself a second concoction rolling. Good sap though to keep the Shadow Priest at bay so that OMG at least got himself a bit of a reset. Grab a hook and on top of Zully. Get him for the cheap shot. Does he have enough here? His health is still super low. Get him with a fear. Check us out of it immediately. Zully does not want to get interrupted on the shadow. He's going to land a stun onto Calm with a Mindbender nipping at the guy. Mindbender is going to do quite a bit of damage. Parry coming in in case that Mindbender does attack him from the front. Good thing that Mindbender is always trying to protest him. In the back, executes coming in for Zully and does end up taking out that rogue. OMG, it's a Calm. Does go down. Carry is up next. Popping in huge rampages, trying to see if he can get big damage and trying to finish off Zully before the duel even begins. 10 minutes left. That's going to be short charge onto that disperse, but doesn't quite get enough to catch up to Zully after that charge. Zully still is a very, very bad position when dealing with another melee here. Not a rogue this time, but a fury warrior. And that's going to be a fury warrior that can survive, that can live for quite a while. Here onto Zully, just so Carry can catch up with a rampage in the opener. Trying to land those big eggs because he's going to chicken out of the sun immediately. Zully, do they have anything at all? They do get himself a greater fade. And Carry does not have a way to interrupt it anymore. Does Zerker rage out of that fear and look at to land and execute on Zully. They do go for a health swap. That is again allowed. That is going to be reflected by Carry, and he does go. For an interrupt onto that meme beam, Zully is able to get all the shadow damage out. Doesn't have really a lot of health to work with. Does try to get as much dots on the carry. Does hit him with a silence, so no fears available, no slows available. No rallying cry either, but looks like Zully is in the execute range, man. Doesn't look like he's going to survive that much longer. Took all that health from Hamburger, but still seeing the end of his life in the end with that execute coming out. Carry just has way too much capability to deal with the Shadow Priest. Illidanes is coming out next. The Dane of the Illies getting the stun onto Carry. Looking to maybe go for a big old metamorphosis in the opener. Double Ivy for Ophar. Not even letting Carry attack him for up close. It's going to finally engage with a blur up and running. Carry's in a bad, bad state when it comes to dealing with Illidanes. Isn't even able to get away from the guy. Does have that underwater chicken pocket for him. Quite a bit of healing back out for this man. But Illidanes is going to try to see if he can slow him down and try to see if he pelt him from above. All Kettle can really do is just take the damage or not while hiding behind the line of sight. Getting that charge in with Enrage Regeneration rolling up. Trying to heal up as much as it can. Bloodthirster coming out back to back. Maybe another second one. No, he doesn't have a second Bloodthirst or a second charge. Plus he used him up a little bit early. And then Andra Trigger coming in clutch. As LED is actually dropping in super low. Carry doesn't even need a bit of a self heal either. He just continued to chug the damage into Illidane. He's got himself quite a bit of a heal overall. This is just going to mount up and go over there and finish off the Demon Hunter. Illidane's not really looking that good. He's going to Blade Dance a little bit too early, I guess, expecting for Carrie to attack him out of nowhere. And yes, YouTube, I am still watching the song. <laughs> Interrupt onto the eye and with a fear to follow Carrie. He's going to get himself a bit of a setup with a charge. Try to see if he can get a big old rampage. That's going to be a blur available for Illidane's. Doesn't want to go into that execute setup. While Blur is up on the Demon Hunter, so it's up to Illidane to try to see to survive this carry. Get himself quite a massive heal over all of this. Even the 48% dampening, this man is still trucking along. Illidane is out of all options, has to fly up in air. Carry could go for a bit of a reflect, he does reflect it back at him. And Illidane goes plopping down from above. Very well done, carry. Very well done, my man. We haven't seen Katrick in here, but this man has already tried to show us a real Fury Warrior plays. That's going to be Hamburger playing the Feral this time. He got tired playing the Boomy. Tried to try it. Tired trying to make that spec work. I don't blame you, man. I don't blame you. He's been working so hard at it. Carry is going to get himself a little bit of a reflect on those storms and go for a blade storm. I guess Hamburger is going to rotate his first wall right now. Does land a short stun onto Carry, but Hamburger is just dead. What is going on? How is Carrie killing these guys? What is that bleed that he's got going on in him or something? There's got to be a bleed, right? And Hamburger just looking to catch himself a full reset. He's afraid of Carrie. He's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. This is way too much. And Carrie's just going to try to see if he can AOE him out. Might have to be forced to pick up the eyes. Might be forced to pick up the eyes. We'll be very, very unlucky. Very, very unlucky. Hamburger just trying to get whatever self re re he can. Does not get the open on to carry. Still follows up with a bash. That is going to be a trinket out of carry. Wall for Hamburger. Fear to follow. Chicken side of it. That's going to be big and rage regen with a reflect for carry. In case thorns are up and running for Hamburger. Or in case he goes to root him. And Hamburger going to use his mobility. Trying to see if he can get himself some hot troll and catch up. 
Carry does drop to leap on top of Hamburger around the corner, canceling out the Bladestone for just a second, hoping to maybe get a charge to the Hamburger. Does Hand get himself a heal? Does Hand get himself a restealth? He got himself the Underwatch Trinket setting up. The Thorns are up and running. Carry, does he have his own Underwatch Trinket? He does not. Trying to see if he can deny the opener by the Feral. Doesn't get to. Hamburger getting that Tiger's Lust going. Tiger's Fury rolling. All that energy blades up and running into a Ruin to Carry. Does this warrior have enough here, man? Does he have enough to deal with the Feral Menace? He's just bleeding up while Hamburger is recovering with those healing over time at 61% dampening. This might be the roughest duel for Carry. He's right next to Hamburger. Almost AoE'd him out. It was so close. And Hamburger is going to land that opener onto Carry. Carry is going to have a very, very limited opportunity here to do something. Get a hit with a root reflect coming out immediately as he charges at Hamburger. But now Hamburger is free to get Thorns up and running. Basil to carry. Thorns are up and running. Carry can't do anything about it. Sleeping on top of him. Carry gets himself a small heal with Underwatch Trick. It doesn't get the heal fast enough. And Vanish is up next. Stealthing at the opener as an assassination rogue. Looking to an Hamburger right now. Walk past one another. I think Vanish saw it for a second. He was like, oh. He appeared. I heard the stealth sound for a moment. But it might just really come down to one of them picking up the eyes. And Hamburger already hanging around that set of eyes. He's already got it stocked out. He's hanging right next to Vanish. As he does go for a death charger, he does go for the eye setup. Does he go for a Vanish for that? No, he does not. He sees where Hamburger is at, though. This is exactly where the guy is at. Still getting opened by the Feral. No trinket available for Hamburger. Does be wall the damage in case Vanish goes for a full setup. Blood of the enemy coming in for Hamburger. Big bite into Vanish. Landing a kidney shot. Could be a trick coming out of Hamburger immediately. No, he does not. Vanish does go for a double crucible for a self-heal. as dampening a 69. Nice. But it's a super low. Super bad for Vanish right now. That's going to be lots of damage. He's just taken out of nowhere. Does he land a sap on Hamburger though? He does. Hamburger has a trinket. Vanish has a trinket. Vanish has all these cooldowns defensively. Hamburger is missing wall. So this is going to be really, really rough. Hamburger needs to play very CC heavy, very offensively. Know what to trinket. Bash immediately onto Vanish. The trinket's out of it. Underwatch trinket coming in. That's going to be a blind. Vanish just trying to go for a big old huzzah. He did go for a stun though, so he's gonna be a while wait. No, Sap can't do it! It's actually fully DR'd, he can't get the Saps off! He's gonna go for a bit of a Phantom Nice, Hamburger catching up while Thorns are up and running. Cloak of Shadows and Evasion rolling for just Vanish. Hamburger got himself some dots on the Vanish, and he might be able to catch a reset and get himself an opener onto Vanish before the end of this. Is he gonna be able to? Vanish is still out in the open. No, he goes for a Vanish himself! Does the Feral get to reset? He's going for AoE in case Vanish is not near him. And both of them catch a reset. No, Hamburger catches himself a hot into a bear from Vanish, clipping him with a garrote and trying to see if he can catch a reset. He getting a shot coming out to Hamburger. Vanish got the full vendetta rolling. Is that going to be enough damage right now? Huge damage. Does get himself a reset with that shadow meld and a cheap shot at the end. That was amazing. Holy shit, boys. Yo, Zully heal. Oh, Zully did heal for a lot, but that is a lot of health swaps, too. Man, Shadow Priest can actually heal for quite a bit if you let him health swap. Holy crap. That's crazy, dude. <laughs> oh my god. That is crazy. For also Resident Sleeper, I think you played that really well. I don't know what you're talking about.